Good evening, this is Mr. Morales. Today, day three notes. It's the last page of your packet. Uh, we're going to be solving equations with variables from both sides. This time, though, we're going to use the calculator method. One of the greatest tools you have is your calculator, so let's take advantage of that uh, for today. Please follow along. It says solve an equation with variables on both sides using the TID4 with the calculator method. Now, note, and I've got it all here in your packet, so you don't have to write anything down. It says replace any variable with the x variable on the calculator. Now, just to give you a heads up, the x button is right here. Here's your alpha. You don't need to hit the alpha. Just hit the X button. As you can see, when you hit X, it pops up. So that's where your X button is. Now, I've already typed out the directions for you. They're in your packet. So I'm just going to ask you to follow along with your calculator. Okay? Uh, steps in your calculator. You're going to turn it on. You're going to hit the Y equals button. You're going to enter the left side of the equal under Y1. Then hit the enter button. Then you're going to enter the right side of the equation under Y2. Then you're going to hit the graph button. Then you're going to hit second button and trace. You're going to choose number five for the intersection and hit enter three times. When you do this, the graph will come up. And on the bottom left and right, you'll see the X coordinate and the Y coordinate of your point of intersection. And I'll show you that on the graph. So i put here the two problems that I'm going to do which are the first two in your packet. So I'm going to do the first two with you. You're going to try to do the rest on your own. And I've also put the steps here. So as I'm putting them in the calculator, I'm also going to read them. So my calculator is here. Step one is to turn on the calculator, which I've already done. Step number two, hit the Y equals two button. The Y equals two button is right here. Hopefully you should be able to see it. Once you hit it, this is your screen that comes up. Step number three, you're going to enter the left side of the equation under y1. Well, for number one, the left side of the equation is just 8. So I hit 8. And then after that, I'm going to hit the enter button. So right now, I'm going to step number three. So I hit enter. Step number four says enter the right side of the equation under y2. So I have 4 times r plus 4, and I'm going to replace r with x. So I have 4 in parentheses x plus 4, parentheses. And after I enter the right side of the equation of the y2, then I'm going to hit the graph button. Graph button is right here on the top right hand button of your calculator. So I hit graph. Notice it graphs my first uh, line, which is the left side of my equation. And then the red one here is the right side of my equation. Now, step number 5. Hit second button, then trace button. So the second button is right here, and then the trace button is right here. And what we're doing is we're in the calculate menu, and we're going to calculate the point of intersection, which is option number five. So it says choose number five for intersection, then hit enter three times. So number five is here, so I hit five, then I hit enter once, twice, three times. And notice my cursor here jumps to the point of intersection. Notice here the word intersection. And it says x equals negative 2 and y equals 8. So in this case, our answer is x equals negative 2. But in here, it would be r equals negative 2. And that is our solution. Now, you can plug in negative 2 here if you want and check it. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. And 2 times 4 is 8. So that does work. Let's try number 2. Now, I'm going to go back to y equals. I'm going to hit clear. I'm going to go down and hit clear again. Now, I go back up to y1. Let's enter the left side. So I've done step 1. I've done step 2. Let's do step number 3. So I have 3 in parentheses. I'm going to replace m with x, so 3x minus 2, parentheses, enter. That's my left side. Now I'm going to do the right side. 2 
And then in parentheses, 3x plus 3, enter. Now, I'm going to hit graph, which is step number 4. We're finishing step number 4. Notice the two lines that are coming up. There's the first line. And there's the second line. Notice you can't see where it intersects. So what you can do is hit zoom, which is right here, 3 to zoom out, hit 3, and enter. So make sure you hit zoom, 3, enter, and what I'll do is, there's the first one, and then it's going to show you the second one as it finally connects, which it connects about here. So it's just like a video camera, just like a regular picture camera, just like your phone, you zoom in and zoom out. Now, I'm going to hit second and trace, second, trace, I'm going to choose number five, and then hit enter once, twice, three times. Notice it jumped to the point of intersection, which is at x equals four, so in this case, m is equal to four. And that is how you solve equations with variables on both sides without doing any work but putting it in your calculator. I hope this video has been helpful. Please use it to do the rest of the problems three through six. Have a good day.